Anton Rucker keeps his head down as restaurant employee Aisha White relives the traumatizing Easter Sunday that turned deadly. Once the shots rang out, you saw people throwing kids across the table, people covering kids' bodies. It was just chaos, just pure chaos. White says everyone was dancing in the packed restaurant when she noticed an argument break out, describing it as aggressive. Then it escalated. I saw him pull out a gun and I yelled, chef, gun. And as soon as I said that, I see him fire the gun and just start shooting. And I remember thinking that this gun must have unloaded inside the restaurant because it was just back to back to back. Metro Police Detective Miranda Vaughn says Rucker fired eight shots total, according to surveillance video, describing what she saw on camera to the judge. You see a couple individuals, they have a couple chairs in their hand, but they're going toward the shooter. And uh, then you see the victim, Mr. Beecham, tries to come in and also try to stop the shooter. And at that point, you can clearly see when, when he is struck. 33-year-old Alan Beecham died. Seven others were sent to the hospital. But the defense argues Rucker was provoked, claiming someone was bumping into him while they were dancing. Then he was pushed. The surveillance camera didn't catch any of that because of its angle. Rucker's attorney asking the judge for bond with electronic monitoring and house arrest. If the judge set those kinds of conditions of release along with a monetary bond, mm -hmm. do you think that your husband would abide by those conditions? Yes, I do. The judge disagreed.